Hi and welcome to Alan Video Tutorials. Today we are going to build a voice assistant that will handle a couple of custom commands and integrate it into a Flutter app. And all of that in under 5 minutes. As the backend for our voice assistant, we will be using Alan AI, the complete conversational AI platform that provides you with all the tools you need to create a voice assistant for any app from scratch. Let's get started. First, we'll jump into Alan Studio and create a project here. Navigate to studio.alan.app and sign in. If you don't have an account yet, you'll need to get one. In the Alan Studio interface, we'll click Create Voice Assistant and name it My Flutter Assistant. As a part of our assistant, we already have the first intent – Hello World. All our voice assistant can do now is greet users with hello or hi there when they say hello world. Let's test it in the debugging chat on the right hand side. Hello world. Hi there. As you can see, our voice assistant is already functioning, though it has only one intent yet. As the next step, we will bring it to a Flutter app. For this tutorial, we'll be using a starter app provided by Flutter. Let's create it in the IDE like this. Now we'll run it and see what we get. With our app ready to go, we can now embed our voice assistant into it. We'll get back to Alan Studio and click Integrations at the top of the view. Here we have a list of integration steps for every supported platform. We need iOS or Android and Flutter. The first two steps are about bringing Alan Voice to the app. First, we will add the Alan dependency. To do this, we'll click Copy and open the pubspec YAML file in our app. The line we've copied goes to the dependencies block, like this. Don't forget to get dependencies to update your project. Next, we will import the Alan package. Again, in Alan Studio, we'll click Copy to the right of the next block. Now we'll get back to our app, open the main dot file, and add the copied statement at the top of it. Moving on to the next step. We need to initialize the Allen button. The Allen button will be displayed on top of the app UI and our users will be able to tap it and interact with the voice assistant we are building. In the main dot file, we'll add a new method initializing the Allen button. By default, the Allen button will be placed in the bottom right corner of the screen. In our app, we already have the increment button here, so we'll add another line to move the Allen button to the left. and some tweaks you may need depending on your environment. The minimum Android SDK version required by the Allen package is 21. You can change it in the build Gradle file. That's it. Now we'll run the app and check our voice assistant. Hello world. Hi there. The best part about Alan is that you don't need to rebuild or redistribute your app if you want to enhance your voice assistant and add more voice commands. Let's create a new intent in our project and see how it will work in the app. What is your name? It is Alan, and yours? Building a voice assistant is a fast and easy task with Alan. Learn more at alan.app today.